I'm going to show you how to make a numerical type question for a quiz. You need to go to your administration block or if you've got an older version of Moodle it'll be called settings. Go down to question bank, questions, create a new question and I'm picking numerical. Okay so I need to supply some text for the question here. If Okay, just making this up on the spot here. Um, now, my normal practice is to copy that text and paste it into the question name so I have a very clear idea when I'm looking back at my questions what that question's about. If I have categories set up, I would put it into categories. It doesn't really matter for this example, so I'm just going to leave it in the default. You can choose the mark here that you're going to give it. I'm going to give it one mark. Um, general feedback here, this appears after they answer the question. so. If you want to include some, you can, but you don't need to. Here's the answer. So 3 times 365, it's 1,125, I think. Yep, that sounds right. Now you can include here an error. If I put in 5, then it would accept an answer from 1,120 1, to 1,130. There's not really room for error in this question. I'm going to leave the error as zero, but say if you were asking a student to read from a graph or some other way where there's, there could be some uncertainty involved in the answer, or if they had to round, if they decided to round their answer off, you might want to put an error in there. And the grade I'm going to give them for this is 100%. This is the only correct answer. I could give them some feedback um, saying, wow, that's great, or something more constructive than that. Um, here, if I want to give them feedback if they get it wrong, I can just put a wildcard there and say that they put anything else in, it's wrong, and I can say uh, you need to multiply. Just to give them a little bit of a, um, an idea of what they needed to do. Maybe they did do that but made a mistake, but there's the feedback. Um, there could be multiple correct answers as well, so if there was another correct answer, maybe a different way of interpreting the question that you've given them, you could also get, make that worth 100% as well. Um, but in this case, it's pretty straightforward. Now, I want them to include units as well. Um, the default is that units are not used, but I'm going to change that, uh, that a unit must be given and will be graded. And here's the unit penalty. So if the unit's wrong, here it's saying it's 0.1, uh, of a penalty, I'm going to make it 0.5, make it worth uh, a half of the uh, of the grade. And you can choose whether the student types it in using uh, the text import menu, or you could give them a multiple choice selection or a drop down menu. So I'm going to make it harder and ask that they actually type it in themselves. Um, next, we need to tell the computer what the answer actually should be. So killer watts is the way to go. Um, now if you look at this answer, this is 1125 kilowatts, that's actually over a megawatt, so they might choose to answer in megawatts. So I need to add some more unit options here. If they put megawatts, that would be a multiplier of 0.1 one because it would be 1.125 megawatts which is 0.1 of 1125. You only really need to use the multiple tries menu if you're going to set up multiple tries in your test. Uh, I don't usually do that so I'm just going to leave it as it is and save the changes. As usual when you create a question it'll highlight the question for you here so I can preview the question, see how it looks. Uh, one, one, two, five, and let's make a mistake here and put uh, what's like that. Okay, I got half a mark right because my units were wrong. That's it then. If you need to edit it, you can click on this gear if you have the latest version of Moodle or if you've got an older version, it will be the hand holding a pen. I hope that's helpful. Check out my other videos if you'd like to know about other question types.